Welcome back once again, restaurant fans. It's Crunchy with Recipe for Disaster. On to the next training scenario, which is this. Sloppy Joes. A few months ago, you landed your very first part-time job flipping burgers at Sloppy Joe's in the centre of town. Keen to impress, you've secretly been staying behind after hours to work on a new special sauce recipe for the restaurant's famous Volcano Burger. Yesterday, you decided to slip some of the experimental sauce into a customer's order. Hmm, is that legal? And guess what? They loved it. Great, right? Well, it turns out this particular customer is a famous content creator, what, like myself, and their horde of followers are now flocking to the restaurant to get a piece of the action. The manager hasn't shown up at work today and is clearly panicking. Oh, yeah, why is that? So now it's up to you to get the rest of the team organised and deal with this sudden influx of hungry customers. The current situation is you start off with £6,000 and a starting popularity of 40%. Your objectives are, some of these look like they're going to be easy, place three extinguishers, place three employees on the same appliance, create two cleaning areas, make £120 in one day, and as a bonus, have three customers pay more than £70 for a single dish. And the loose conditions would be having a popularity of 20% or less. Well, what could be easier than that? So we're going to move this storage shelf first up here before we even press the play button. So we can get a lot of things organised first. So move that storage shelf there. We're going to duplicate it. So we've got three storage areas or shelving units, whatever you want. Having done that, then we're going to go to the appliances. Hang on, how do we shake off that? Yeah, we're going to put yeah fire extinguisher because some of these cook, cooks and chefs can be a bit careless, as I've heard. So I've got three appliances there. So that's a play three extinguishers. That's objective completed, number one. And then we're going to, well, demolish this broken chair and tables. Nobody wants a broken chair and tables. Moving over slightly. So then we're going to get some decorations going. I'm going to get some napkin holders. I see there's one there already. So I'm going to rotate that napkin holder there. It's going to cost £20. And another one on there like that. Anyway, let's clear that objective dialogue out of the way. Oh, now let's employ some staff first. So we've first been offered Philippa Gaza. What's her skills? She's got great charisma. She likes serving. So I think we'll hire her, but just on that basis alone. Then we've got Brent Kennedy. He's a genius. Do we want a genius? He thinks he's a genius. He drives me up the wall. He's a regular original. Know it all. Not Sarah Powell, Olivia Wells, Joshua Powell, Tracy Schmidt. So Sarah Powell is going to hire her. Oh, she's a kleptomanic maniac and a genius. Uh, Olivia Wells, she loves the oven. I don't think we'll be having an oven, though. Joshua Powell, he's good at frying. So we'll hire him if he likes frying. And... Uh, Going to open the restaurant now. You've created a save game. So you see the face icons above the appliances. That means you've got to designate somebody to work on those appliances. So we're going to do the deep fat fryer and we're going to designate. He's off map. No, he isn't. He's just coming at the building there now. So you're doing that. And secondary to him, we're going to have Sarah Powell or Philippa Gaza. Yeah, okay. And a third person. So that's another objective complete. We place three employees on the same appliance. Not as hard as it looks, is it? So what we're doing now, we're going to select Philippa Gaza for working on the... Oh, yeah, working on the table. She, oh, everybody hates doing it. That's no good. <laughs> We've got people who hate working on the tables. Let's just Philippa Gaza do all of them, eh? If she's so, she likes it so much. So Crunchy, that is me, the person I designed in the first video, with my Santa hat on. I've got a lot of people standing around now. So... Right, we're going to set up some cleaning areas now. 
So the whole kitchen is going to be cleaned by Cameron Soto, who loves cleaning, and myself, Jonathan Powell, or Paul as some people say it. And right, we're going to do the restaurant area. Uh, well, can I do the restaurant area? Yeah, we'll do that part there. So that's another objective completed. We're creating two cleaning areas, two of two. So we'll get rid of that dialogue. So, just got to wait for some customers. There's, oh, there's one customer there. Some people coming across, they're just walking on the grass, hey. So they're coming in. Let's do a recipe. So, let's do the killer burger. <laughs> we call it. So just zipping through this to show you I've added beef, brisket, ground beef, mustard, soy sauce, and a bun, and some fries. They're going to be deep fried. And we're going to make our dish look like, like that. I'll just bring that over there. And so that's that. So we need to order all of this gear in. Ah, oh, I've already got a menu there. Mega sloppy, the volcano burger and all sorts. So we're gonna I think they're already on the menu, so I better order stuff in to have a minimal amount in storage for those things. We're going to get uh, uh what? Another fridge. I didn't realise at this time that we already had a fridge there by the, in the corner there, but there's another one, just gonna rotate it. That's costing two hundred and fifty pounds. So the only other thing we need today is make £120 in a day and get three customers to pay more than 70 quid for some daft dish. So on there we're going to put Sarah Powell. She loves deep fat frying. She'll have Jonathan helping her out on that. Right, I think we... I didn't realise we had so many... So, so many employees but anyway so we're speeding through things now we're getting people to get served making money we've got a queue coming up so we need to do more stuff because bathroom cleanliness oh i put something on the cleaning area of the toilets here must have but forgot to do that and i've created my little rectangle there so anyway doing something which costs 25 pounds but anyway there's the menu joan fries 52 so we really need to up the price of one meal to 70 pounds to complete the bonus achievement as soon as we got stuff on the menu already which was already on the menu i'm going to order stuff in for that still haven't assigned somebody one of the bathrooms i think oh, they're happy are they sad what's going on Right, let's look at the menu. So the killer burger, as you see, is fifty-five seventy-five. Now we need to ramp that up. And it seems like the arrows aren't available. So I'm going to up the global price markup to something so that costs over £70. seventy-one fifty. I think that should do. So that now costs that. We'll see which dummies pay that much for a meal. Why are all the staff unhappy? They're getting paid. Deliveries of order deliveries have been delivered. Ordered groceries have been delivered. Cleaning area. Yeah, I've already got somebody on there. So I'll put Cameron on there as well if that's what it's complaining about. Right. So somebody's outside having a rest, Sarah, Sarah's having, is it Powell? She's having a rest. Right, Danielle Wagner is saying, is somebody going to take my order? Have we got people not taking orders? Yes, we need to assign other people to the restaurant, even though they don't like it. Yeah, yeah we're going to change the priorities for Stacy, so her serving is more important than cooking. So Joshua, his is most important 
priority is cooking. Crunchy is his cooking. So we're going to make serving more important to him. That's better. So hopefully more people should get served at the tables. Still making a loss. So we're looking now at Elizabeth West. She's full of energy. Place is squeaky clean. Stacey Jordan is getting on my nerves. <laughs> That's because she's performing poorly at cooking, I see. So, oh, somebody gave a four-star review and gave over 40 quid for a meal. Right, hey. Yeah, I need another server. I don't think the stuff is working out, do you? Yeah, I think we need some different stuff. Tracy, who likes serving? Yeah, we've employed her. Yeah, we've met the objectives to the next level. That's great. We're just going to carry on, though, because I want to get people to pay £70 for the burger, killer burger I created. So Joshua Powell, we're changing his priorities. So my killer burger, I'm, yeah, I think I need to put those all up because they're all on the menu. So we'll increase those. It's going to cost more. But we are making a profit now. £226. Right, let's get some feedback. Let's go back to normal time. We're making money. We've got two people who paid the £70 for the single dish. Oops. By the way, you can press Z to see all the walls if you want. It's now 20 past four in the working day. Joshua Powell. I'm the lowest paid person here. All right, Joshua. So I'm going to increase in pay is paid to two pounds 76 an hour. Even though that's below the minimum wage in the UK. <laughs> and the prices of the burgers are fantastically high. Tracy, what are we going to do with her? Going to increase. She's put now on nine, three, three, pa three pounds and nine pence an hour. I don't know sure what so many symbols next to the tables mean. Oh, that means they're going to be served soon. I see. So we've got three star reviews. We're on forty percent still. So the popularity hasn't waned, but it hasn't increased much. got stuff standing around now you see them four of them in the kitchen just standing about yeah increases rest threshold to 45 percent that means it'll all take a break a little bit sooner so you can see Philippa outside having a, a tab break <laughs> that means a cigarette break Congratulations, we've done it. We've shot all the objectives. Three customers have stupidly paid £70 for a single dish. That took 27 minutes 23. Well, that's fine. We'll just uh, leave it till the end of the working day. It's getting to, well, 20 past nine at night now. There aren't many customers about. I bought an extra leaf for fry. I just need to assign somebody, some people to it. I think we can just about close now. Just waiting for one person there to finish off their meal. Low average star rating. All right, we're going. Things are going well. They've all been paid, and they're all leaving because I closed the restaurant for the day. It is now twenty-one forty-two, and they've all left. So that's great. Let's have some reviews. The place could definitely look better. Somebody served quickly, so the reviews are generally favourable now. Although it's only 2.3 average, which isn't great. Today's popularity is 35% out of 100. Again, not great, but... 
Some are good, some are bad. Right, let's have a look at the finances now. So we've made a loss today of £1,012. That's because of all the stuff I bought and the stuff I employed. So here's the staff. Idle 17%, idle 9%. So there was a bit of idleness. But it looks like Cameron Soto did the best work. And tastes, I'm not really sure what this means. Everybody loved everything times nine. No, I'm not really sure what that means. So we'll go to dishes. So the top dish was Joan Fry's 41%, which brought £715 of the total revenue. Next was the Killer Burger, despite its enormous, enormous price. The Volcano Burger, the Mega Sloppy and the Cosmic Banana. So that was the end of day one. Could go on to day two, but we're going to finish that there now. So thanks for joining me here. Don't you signing off? Bye for now.